All right, in this video, we want to look at working with piecewise defined functions. So in the other video, in that first video where we used the definition of the Laplace transform, um, we, we were given a function, um, and we'll actually go to, we'll check that out here. So we're given an f of t, and we were asked to find the uh, Laplace transform from the piecewise defined function. Um, but we will encounter some problems where we're going to be given a graph. And so it's useful to be able to translate the graph into um, a mathematical description, which is basically the uh, uh, piecewise defined function that we showed in that first problem. So we're looking at this graph here. So we have uh, f of t, f of t axis and the t axis, and they're labeled. And our function is a line here. So it goes from uh, 2 here, f of t is 2, all the way down to uh, this point here, and then it's just 0 uh, from uh, 2 all the way to infinity. So our goal basically is to translate this into a piecewise defined function. So basically we want to identify that f of t is a form of a straight line, so we can apply the uh, equation of the straight line, so we have f of t is equal to mt plus b. Uh, that might look more familiar as y equals mx plus b, uh, where m is the slope and uh, b is the y-intercept. Um, but in our, in our case, instead of f of t, or instead of y, we have f of t, and instead of x, we have t. So that's why we put it in this form to just stay consistent. Um, we can find a slope. Um, we have two points given to us. We have 0 and a uh, 0 comma 2 and 2 comma 0, and that's uh, found by inspecting the graph. Um, and we find a slope to be uh, 1. And then the next step here is to find uh, the y-intercept. So the y-intercept is um, found by just choosing any, basically any point on the line. And that's, uh, that can be done basically because we've already found um, f of uh, the slope. So we can just plug that into our equation of the line. So f of t let's see here, f of t is equal to negative 1t plus b, um, and we using point 0.2, um, we find that b is going to be equal to 2. Because we just plug in uh, here, we plug in uh, f of t is equal to 2, and here we plug in t is equal to 0. So the equation, uh, the equation of the line is uh, negative 1t plus 2. Um, but remember, we want to write it in the form of a piecewise function. And recall that um, in the graph, the line is, we only have the line. Um, let's see if we can point to it here. So we only have this line here um, when we're between 0 and 2. Um, when, we're, when we're at 0, um, when t is equal to 0, um, the, fun the line is, uh, we're having the line here, right? And then we go all the way, uh, we're following the line, following the line, and then at 2, um, the function turns into 0. So how can we translate that into a piecewise defined function? Well, we do it here, right? Uh, at 0, right, this is covered by this condition. At 0, is t, t is greater than 0 or equal to 0, um, but less than 2. Um, so basically t is between 0 and 2 here, including 0, not including 2. We have the line, negative 1 t plus 2. And then it's going to be 0, right? 0 for t, including 2 or greater than 2. And that's accomplished by that uh, uh, equality there. Um, and then we just basically apply the, the Laplace transform uh, definition using the limits. Um, we use this recalling, you know, the integral from, we can imagine what it would look like, the, inter, uh, the integral from 0 to 2, right, of this whole function here, um, times e raised to the negative st dt. Um, and then plus, the, plus uh, the integral from 2 to infinity of 0 times e raised to the negative st dt. But if you notice here, f of t is going to be 0. If we move the zero in front of the integral, we're just going to get rid of that entire integral. We're just going to have zero. So we can just focus on uh, this part here. 
Um, and it would be good practice to um, show to solve one like this, right? Where we have, um, there'll be a lot of different ones where we'll have to apply the different limits. This is the general, uh, general way of, of finding the Laplace transform from a given graph. Uh, make sure that you identify the uh, limits, um, right, the integral, um, and then just apply the definition from there.